Welcome to this tutorial on how to complete a company tax return ITR 14 on e-filing for a dormant company and a micro company. The company tax return ITR 14 must be completed and submitted to SARS within 12 months after the financial year end of the company. The company needs to have an annual financial statement for the applicable year to complete the return. To register the company for e-filing, Go to www.sars.gov.za and click Register Now. For further assistance with e-filing registration, refer to the How to Register for e-filing and Manage Your User Profile Guide available on the SARS website. To log in, use your username and password. Click on My Profile on the left side of the screen. Then click on Portfolio Management. Select the portfolio that has your company and click Go to Portfolio. Select the company that you wish to complete the return for and click View Taxpayer. Once the company is displayed, click on Returns on the top menu. Click on Returns issued on the left menu. Select Income Tax, ITR 14, IT12 TR, IT12 EI. The return search screen will be displayed. Select the applicable year of assessment from the drop-down menu and click Request Return. The return search page will be displayed. Click on the Open hyperlink. You will be routed to the Income Tax Work page. Before you capture the ITR 14 return, please validate your demographic details which include your contact details, physical address, postal address, bank account details and other particulars of your representative taxpayer. Click Yes if the details have been verified. If the details have not been verified, click Maintain SARS Registered Details before completing the ITR 14. To open the ITR 14 return, click on the ITR 14 hyperlink. Customize your ITR 14 return by first answering if the public officer and contact details of the company have been verified. Continue to answer the wizard questions based on your company information. Depending on the answers you provide for each question, subsequent questions may be displayed. If the company is dormant, a company that was not actively trading and or did not receive any income or incur any expenses during the year of assessment, select Yes and complete the questions that follow. Continue to answer all the questions. The green tick will indicate completed questions. When you have answered all the questions, the Continue to Form button will appear. Click the button to continue. The following tabs will be displayed for you to complete. Clicking on the exclamation icon on each tab highlights the mandatory fields in that tab. Complete the company closed corporation particulars. Complete the dormant company details. The date on the declaration will be pre-populated to the date you are completing the return. Once you have completed all mandatory fields, the tabs will turn blue. You can now submit the return or the dormant return. If the company was actively trading and or received income or incurred any expenses during the year of assessment, select No on the question, Is the company dormant? This will open up the Company Type tab. Answer Yes or No to the question. If you select No, this will open the Gross Income and Total Asset Containers. Complete the fields in order for the return type to be populated. Once you have completed the fields, this will populate the return type field. Continue to answer all the questions. When all the questions have been answered, click Continue to Form button to continue. Complete the company or close corporation particulars. This will pre-populate the date on the declaration to the date you are completing the return. Complete the Balance Sheet tab using your financial statements. Complete the Income Statement tab using your financial statements. Once you have completed the Income Statement, this will automatically pre-populate the Net Profit Loss field. Now you must complete the Tax Computation tab using your financial statements. Once you have completed all the mandatory fields, the tabs will turn blue. Your return is now complete and ready to submit to SARS. 
You can click on the Save button to save the return and come back at a later stage. You can click Calculate button to view the results of the submission before you submit. Click File Return to submit the return to SARS. The confirmation screen will appear. Click Continue to return to the work page. A pop-up will appear informing you that your assessment has been issued. Click Open to view your ITA-34C. You can now view your ITA-34C. This will show you the assessment summary for the submitted return, if the company has any amounts due to it, or if the company owes an amount to SARS, if the company is selected for audit or verification, if the company has any outstanding returns from previous years. If upon submission you are routed for an audit, you will be requested to submit a supplementary declaration, IT14SD. The Income Tax work page will display the IT14SD link, a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete the IT14SD supplementary declaration form is available on the SARS website. The work page will display a supporting documents link for the submission of the relevant supporting documents. Note. The submission of financial statements is optional if the company is classified as dormant, body corporate or share block, micro business. Click the supporting documents link to open a page where you can upload your documents from the chosen file. You can also select the classification of your documents. Once you have uploaded all your documents, you must click submit to SARS button. You may now go back to the income tax work page. If there is nothing else you want to do on e-filing, you may log out. Note: Failure to submit your returns timelessly will result in administrative penalties being imposed monthly per outstanding return, estimated assessments being raised, and civil or criminal action will be taken by SARS. Should you encounter any challenges whilst completing the return, refer to the How to Complete the Company Income Tax Return ITR14 e-filing external guide on the SARS website.